everybody and welcome to Ed's Boat. Right, I'm back from Mexico and the weather's gone really dull and it's been raining, which is why I'm working inside mainly at the moment. But as promised, we're going to have a work catch up and I'm going to answer a few of your questions. So let's get on with that. A couple of videos ago, you saw me putting in these boards, lining them all up. They're in on both sides and I've got the vents in as well. Let's move up to the control panel. Now the control panel has been varnished and I have panelled it in all the way down to the floor. And I've started painting this edging white. I've got a massive run in the paint there. So that's all got to be sanded back and redone. And I'm not happy with the colour. It's way too bright. So I'm going to redo this the same colour as the roof. I think that would just be a better tone. And then to cover the join in the wood there all the way along, there's going to be some uh, oak strip, which I'm going to you know, use as a, a nudge strip. And the same down this edge here, there's going to be some oak edging to go on that, so that's got to be fitted, but once I've repainted that bit. Inside we are painted. We have had primer and two coats of top coat, that is a white, wipe, uh, wipeable, cleanable uh, paint. It's just a Dulux domestic paint. I've got oak edging strips all the way along, all the way down the side of the boat. We've done all the way down to the floor as well and that goes down the boat including that bulkhead and down that side as well so that's been done within the kitchen area i have fitted some blinds one on each side and they pull down nicely i got nice brakes on them to lift them to the top i've just got to trim the edges and then box that bit in to make it look nice all the way along so that's been done as well I have had some curtains made don't worry they're not the curtains they're just some old pillowcases I've put up so when the Sun shines it doesn't glare me on the way in um, I have some curtains made for a full set for the front to the back of the boat I haven't put them up yet because I'm not going to put them up while I'm doing some dusty or messy work but you will see those in the near future the shower room is finished, it is working. Well, when I say finished, it's not totally finished. It's working, everything is fine in there. I'm not gonna show it you just yet because there's a few little things to do. And then when I've done that, yes, you'll have a tour around the big reveal of the shower room. But what I will show you is I have cut a piece of plywood here that goes top to bottom. That is gonna be the sliding door for the shower room. That's a job that I've got to do in the near future. On the light switches, I have put these oak uh, packing pieces. The switches, um, the back of the switch sticks out too far and the cavity behind here is not quite big enough to fit the connections to the switch inside. So I've packed them out with a nice bit of oak all the way around, varnished it up and this does two things. Obviously it allows the switch to fit better and it keeps your hands away from the painted surface so any dirty handprints should be on there and easily easy to wipe off. Right, the roof has been primed and painted. Now I haven't put the joining strip in here. There's a cover strip that goes on there because I knew that it would shrink in the hot weather during the summer uh, and I wanted to know how much it would shrink and expand by and it's okay. So now I know how much that's gonna be. I can then put the strip back again. That's gonna happen reasonably soon. The rest of it has all been painted. Like I say, one coat of primer, two coats of top coat. Again, you can wipe all this surface down with a cloth and doing in these little gaps here, just took forever. Oh my word, I had to do that much of it. I just got sick of doing it in the end and it just seemed all I was doing was painting these little gaps because, you know, one, one minute you paint it, you let it dry, come back, you've missed the bit, so you have to go back and do it again. But I'm happy that this bit's done. The only part I haven't done is the bedroom. I'm going to leave that until winter time and I'll finish the bedroom then. On the outside, I have painted, sanded down and painted all the handrail around the outside and the tiller arm and I've even done the back section of the boat. You can see the join in the paint there where I finished, that's where a weld is, so I sort of stopped there and uh, painted just the back part. That's got one coat on it. The second coat will happen when I do the rest of the boat so it all matches in at the same time. Also what I have done is finish welding on the slat vents for the um, hot air outlet for the engine. So they're all done and they've got one coat of paint on. Well that was a very very quick catch up on the work so far. I'm not as far through as I wanted to be or indeed I should be but that's where I am. So let's get on with your comments and questions. 
Uh, before I start, I just want to say hello, Mark. He came past me while I was sanding the back doors and said hello, so thank you for watching. And the first question comes from Andy Yu, who asks, who has the right of way in and out of a marina? Well, like the rest of the canal network, like narrow bridges and stuff like this, it's a common sense thing. There's a gentleman's agreement. Basically, if I'm three quarters of the way out of the marina, it's unreasonable to expect me to stop and get out of the way of everybody. So yeah, it's a common sense thing. Uh, RW Bimble asks, when I was cleaning the stove, was I using shoe polish? No, I wasn't. I was actually using Hotspot stove and grate polish. I think it says, yeah, stove and grate polish. Uh, it's very similar to shoe polish, but it is for stoves. So that's what I was using. Um, Sally U, Sally U1 asks, why were there no vents in the doors before? Well, the simple answer is the previous owner had cut the old doorways out and had them widened. So these were brand new doors. They'd never ever been cut or used or whatever. They'd just been placed on and the hinges put on. They hadn't got as far as putting the vents in yet. So that's why they weren't on in the first place. Um, and William Jordan had commented that there are indeed boats or canal boats in Mexico City. So there you are, I didn't know that. In fact, when I asked some of the locals, they didn't know that either. But I looked them up online and yeah, sure enough, there are canals or boats in Mexico City. Uh, and it looks quite a busy, thriving community as well. So there you go. Do have a look at it online and search for it. Right, um, there was one more little issue and we'll go down to the back of the boat and have a look at that. On the video where I broke my mooring chain and I showed you at Hawkesbury Junction, a lot of people commented they've got a nasty hole in the side of the boat. Yeah, it should be there. Let me explain what it is. This hole just here is actually a water drain. It's not the neatest uh, hole, but it, it, it should be there. And I've got six of them. I've got another one just down there. I don't know if you can see it, but there is one down there. Uh, that one there that we looked at before. One there at the back. Another one there and the same all the way down that side and the reason for those is when it rains the water gets onto the rear deck board runs off into channels and then straight out these channels back into the canal so it doesn't flood the boat so yes i have got holes in the side of my boat but they should be there so why haven't i progressed further with the boat the simple reason is i've got other things to do i have a family i have to go to work go on holiday to Mexico as it turns out and of course I am using the boat as well and that does slow progress down. I'm still working on it but yeah it didn't get anywhere near as far as I wanted to because I'm having a nice time doing everything else as well but don't worry we will carry on with that but uh, in the meantime hang, hang on a second let me just get this phone call. Hello? Oh hi! Oh you're in trouble? Feeling useless? Can't cope? David's not available. I'll be right over. Well, that's a boat tuber in trouble and we need to go and help. One thing that does interest me is boat names. People name their boats after, I don't know, old pets, family members, experiences, all the more traditional names, which are trees, wildlife, things like that. And then you come to boats like this. This one's called Ewart, which I guess was named after a computer virus. <laughs> it is, of course, the boat of Anna and Kath, and they've been ambling along the Coventry Canal, and, well, they're in trouble and they need help. That's because of Comment you. below if you think that's true. <laughs> Comment in my favour, of course. Uh, but no, they've been coming along and they popped into the marina yesterday and said hello and we had an ice cream and a chat with them. I volunteered to help them down the locks at Atherston yes. because they're rubbish at it. <laughs> Sorry. See, You're worse than David. You are now officially, now it goes, MBH, Ed's World. Does he still have a cruising channel? 
David? Vandemonium. Ah, that's where it goes now. Uh, man with a boat van. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't know. Uh, but their previous experiences of being helped through locks, maybe not as smooth as it might have been. Um, I'm here to try and remedy that. You and... did remedy it. You oh, were brilliant. Well, thank you very much. But yeah. we've got a little way to go yet. So we've got some more locks down there, but not many now. Uh, but the weather's not too sunny, so yeah. it's quite pleasant. With your continuous cruising being a couple of months in or five. Two, five months in so far, has it been the right choice? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. For us it has. We have said before if you want a more honest view of continual cruising check out Jasmine's London kind of esque take on everything. Not, no, that's her honest view. Our honest view is what we present. Yeah, but I'm it's saying it's different depending London, on the area and what yeah. your life situation is. Yeah. But for us it's working well. Yeah. Great. Now, the question that everybody <laughs> locally like wants to know <laughs> is your view on the Coventry Canal. Oh. Well, now that Ed's here, I think it's been quite nice. Yes. Yeah. It's it's actually it's wider than the Oxford and it's not as windy yep and actually the people have been really lovely mm. well <laughs> i think we've hit the hit the point where generally most i think the percentage of niceness has gone up yeah which is important for us <laughs> it's a film off Ed. yeah it is a film off right i'm walking backwards as they're driving off well it's nice to see you we'll catch you next time bye. bye well i've left anna and Cass to carry on their journey just a few more locks for them to do now, but uh, they said I, I've got to go because I'm eating all the biscuits apparently, so oh well, that's the way it is. So I'm going to walk off along the Coventry Canal and do a bit of gone goozling. Um, it's nice to do that every now and again, even though you've got a boat, it's nice to look at everybody else's boat. I'll head back to the marina, we'll have to get on with some more work, but it's been a lovely day and it was great to see Kath and Anna. That's about it for another episode. In the next episode, well, I'm going to be starting a job that I've been putting off for a long, long time, but I can't put it off any longer. I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and get on with it. Uh, also, I've got some big news that sort of affects the boat. If you'd like to find out what that big news is, why don't you subscribe and ring that bell for notifications? It is free. So I'll wrap this video up here. And in the meantime, take care and I'll see you soon.